Darshel Brunson. Thanks for coming, Frank. Please. Will the president-elect be joining us? No. He told me to apologize on his behalf. I'll brief him, though. This is a memo I drafted on the Middle East policy we've been developing. I think we need a more direct way to frame our approach. We'll steal from Reagan, trickle down diplomacy. If we tackle... Frank, I'm going to stop you right there. We're not nominating you for Secretary of State. I'm sorry. I know he made you a promise, but circumstances have changed. The nature of promises, Linda, is that they remain immune to changing circumstances. Garrett has thought long and hard about this, and he's decided we need you to stay in Congress. I built the campaign's foreign policy platform from the ground up. It's... I briefed him, I prepped him for debates, and the deal we agreed upon was... Was that... A... I'm sorry, Frank. If it had been up to me, I would have handled things differently. I would have warned you about this long time ago. So you knew this was what you were going to do? It's been an evolving discussion. An evolving discussion. Frank. I got 14 conservative Democrats in key states to endorse him. I was personally responsible for raising over $6 million in contributions to the campaign. $7 million for House races to keep hold of our majority in... You're right. We wouldn't have won without your help. But now we have to lead. And that means making tough choices. Our first order of business is education reform, a complete federal overhaul. We want you in the House doing what you do best, counting votes and delivering legislation. I've paid my dues, Linda. I deserve this. <laughs>